In this course, I've described some of the things you absolutely need to know to get started building Android apps. But there's clearly a lot more to learn about the Android SDK. Here are some valuable resources. First of all, when you have a question, always start with the documentation. The Android developer documentation is great and it keeps on getting better. It's available online at developer.android.com develop and you can also download it to your local disk. To keep up with the latest developments, follow the developer team blog at androiddevelopers.blogspot.com. As new APIs are released or existing ones are improved, the developer team writes articles describing what's new and how to use it. And finally, you're bound to have some tech support questions. How do I accomplish a particular task? How do I figure out why something isn't working? The largest group of Android developers has gathered at Stack Overflow, a free website where you can find technical information about just about anything, but where Android developers generously help each other. That's available at stackoverflow.com. The lynda.com library also has other courses that you can watch to learn more about particular areas of Android development. The course Android SDK Local Data Storage teaches about using shared preferences, SQLite databases, and storing, reading, and creating files on the local device. The course Building a Note-Taking App for Android takes you through step-by-step -step building a real live app from scratch. The finished app can be downloaded from the Google Play Store or Amazon's App Store, and it shows you how to use persistent storage in the form of shared preferences, how to create a clean user interface, and how to prepare an app for deployment in the Google Play Store and Amazon's App Store. The course Building Mobile Apps with Google Maps Android API v2 shows you how to integrate Google Maps into an Android application. It describes how to integrate the Google Play Services library and create a graphically rich interface using the Google Maps service. And the course Developing Applications for Amazon Kindle Devices focuses on using APIs that are specific to Amazon's Kindle Fire devices and shows you how to get ready to deploy to Amazon's App Store. lynda.com also has many courses that are about the Java programming language, including a recent course, XML Integration with Java. This course teaches about using a variety of XML APIs for Java, and many of them work well with Android. And if you're fairly new to the concepts of object-oriented programming, watch the course Foundations of Programming, Object-Oriented Design. This course teaches a lot more about object-oriented programming theory and practice. Being an Android developer means constantly learning, learning about new APIs, APIs you've just never used before, and keeping up with all the developments that come from Google and other providers in the Android development space. I hope that this course and these additional resources will help you to become a great Android developer.